today I booked a spa in Ojai, which it was so much more expensive than I thought it was gonna be, but she had to do the transaction over the phone and I was too anxious to say, actually I think that there's a better use of my money while I'm on this trip, but <laughs> since we're on the phone, I literally can't even say no to you right now. And it's gonna cost a lot of bones. And I only have 206 of those. It costs more than that. <laughs> Definitely getting a massage at least, which is, I ran eight and a half miles yesterday. I need her to. To my back. Here's the outfit we've gone with. If I stand how fashion bros stand, then it's like a fit. If I hit him with like a, if I hit him with like a. I do everything alone. There is nothing in my schedule that requires another person to be there with me, but for some reason I don't extend that to travel. So there are so many places I wanna go, but I hinder myself from doing that because I'm like, I don't wanna go alone. That's not safe. I'm gonna get bored. Like I talk to anybody anyways. I might get bored and wanna self. We can go one way or the other, I'll tell you that much. I made it, and for the amount of money I paid, I'm wasting like 20 bucks a minute by sitting in here, so. All right, y'all, get out of the car. Come on, get on. I'll show you around, but it's so much nicer here than I was expecting, and I'm almost feeling out of place. I'm like Kylie Jenner whispering, Hi, will you show me to my room? Thank you. Locker tour. If, if homeboy's, homeboy's coming, coming through, through with these, these it's, it's quiet. quiet. I'm gonna get changed and go for a run. The lady gave me a map and you can just go straight downtown from here. So I'm just gonna go take a scenic look. But if I go for a run, that means you gotta be on my phone, so. Coming up on a mile. <laughs> mile two. This town is tiny. I've seen everything. I saw the mayor. I saw Elon Musk. I saw Tucker Carlson. I'm at a cool, crisp mile three. Not feeling so bad. Okay, I stopped just below three and a half. This is like mission, baby. Gee, I tell you, what kind of tree is this? The whole place to myself? I got a juice. And then they gave me free fruit because you know what? I'm telling you, my ovulation period is making people fall in love with me. For my deep tissue massage, I need her to wring me out like a washcloth. Almost No, she's a professional. Can I tell you a secret? I've been in a situationship with someone I've never met before for six months straight. I need to be studied in the lab to see the effects of that on a person. But anyway, I need her to like wring my spine out like it's a Beyblade. Shawty had me geeked. She just forklift certified me. I came in heels, now I'm leaving out all my cozy shit. The first time I used the toilet, clogged it. So I gotta go deal with that. I haven't gotten to see the view yet because I came in last night and it was dark, but it's so beautiful. Clogging the toilet was not what I expected to happen. Usually like if you were gonna clog a toilet, you kind of know preemptively. This time I was just on my normal routine. That's what I'm talking for now. Let's go get a coffee, Let's start our day. Last night I got the key stuck in the door for like 20 minutes. Oh no. Am I challenged in a way that keys can always befuddle me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Yeah, like, What's your name? Chuck. This nice you, Chuck. You know what I mean? Like Huge success on the morning poop front. I actually lost like a decent portion of my body when I did that. The play is to figure out which hike I'm doing. Buy a little sandwich or like a snack, something for the road. Here's the problem is that some of these hikes that I'm looking at are like, this would be a great hike, but it's kind of problematic after the rain. Hey, it just rained for like 12 days straight in LA. The last time I went on a hike and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna forgo the reviews. I'm just gonna try it myself. I got lost for four miles. I felt like Sacagawea in that moment. Well, no, I didn't feel like her. But she was what kept me going because I was like, I want to give up so bad, but this is how people die out here. Um, I just had to scale down the side of a mountain with a texture of a Nature Valley granola bar on my hands and knees. And now I'm in a trench, gonna get trench foot. But look at the view, right? <laughs> she did this with Lewis and Clark and a baby. And like some foraging tools or something. She had like baby, hydro flask, Canon G7X, ring light. So who am I to give up, right? So we're gonna wing it. The snacks I brought kind of suck. This is that high protein shit. 
Alexa. I feel like they're trying to make everything that comes out as a product these days, like high protein or something. I don't know what they're putting in it, but it's great because a girl like me just don't ever get enough in. To find it in good little delicious forms like this that I just ate normally is real nice. And I think that's what these companies are catching on to. They kind of want to put it in everything so you just pay more for it. Kind of genius. Something about seeing a closed sandwich shop in a small town just <laughs> stab in the heart. Women against hairlines, okay? We should normalize hairline transplants because that plagues more people in this society than I think that we're ready to talk about. I don't know if I'm gonna do much running. Well, but see, then we have Bruce Almighty running this behind me. But I'll see you out there. Yeah, how about that? Like, my younger self. <laughs> this is so funny. I feel so lucky because it's so beautiful. Whatever, dude. Imagine being like, I don't know, in tune with Mother Nature. You need to leave. I felt moved by God. Though there were not three or more gathered, I felt his presence. I feel like that picture of LeBron where he's like, I can't believe this is my life. <laughs> Onward. I'm always shocked whenever I don't see animals because for the amount of animals on this earth, it's like crazy you don't see one every time you go somewhere. I just finished my fourth mile and I sat and thought about my life for like a really long time. I just finished. Let's see. Well, it's all gone now. I think I went like six-ish miles, which is pretty decent. Oh my god, that was so giving wedding photography era. That's crazy. Here's the outfit for dinner, the library, and a potential glass of wine. I'm gonna add this sweater to it because I think this dress is a little too much of a kidnappable vibe, and I don't want that. Rather safe than slaying is what I always say. so close to the Gypsy Rose Blanchard book. Okay, move over Gypsy Rose Lee. We only have Gypsy Rose Blanchard in this house, okay? I came here to look for a specific French children's book and they didn't have it. There's a French family that lives here that buys up all the French children's books for their kids. So I was like, well, that makes sense. They can have them, but I'm gonna rob them. I got a bone to pick with the internet. If you're gonna say you're open and I show up, and you're closed. That's gonna make me. What else do we have? Oh, that's French. Well, they would have nice wine, but I'm concerned about the food. It has four and a half stars. I feel like I should just do it, you know? I think there's like a certain age you hit. Maybe it's 22 and a half. I need a sweet treat every night. I originally wasn't gonna get anything, but the lady was like, my mom just made this flavor just now. Okay, well, I have to try your mom's new flavor. It'd be so rude if I didn't. Oh my God. This town reminds me so much of the one I lived in, in Tennessee. It's the little things that keep me up at night that I miss that I can never go back to. So sometimes that hits you out of nowhere. I was sad, okay, can you blame me? In case you wanted to know. What happens if I wanted to put lean in here? I was thinking I should say lean right here and then on the other side for people who are like, they get it, you could put like double cup. I think last night, the reason I went to bed so early because I went to bed at 9 p.m. I haven't done that in forever. My tummy hurts so bad. Like dairy is typically fine for me. So the frozen yogurt I had last night, I was like, well, I'm gonna be fine. I eat like Greek yogurt all the time. It had me like doubled over in pain. Like, when will it end? Oh my god. My mom used to teach me this trick. I'll show it to you on the couch. If your tummy hurts in bed, you do this position. I just realized it's leap day. What a special thing to be in such a random place on such a random day. See, this is the type of bullshit that I know as a mom is gonna piss off my kids. I'll be like, y'all, look, it's leap day and we're here. I mean, how could that happen? Only comes around once every four years, do y'all remember? And we decided to be here. My Ooh. eyeballs are Ooh. so swollen from Ooh. my cry. That's insane. Ooh. I really don't have the time, but I must put some fucking eye drops in. This is horrendous. We were like talking Ooh. the other day. He was like, come over. 
And I was like, are you gonna fly me out or what? I know. This always happens. I either have to poop or I have to pee before I run and I cannot escape it. Okay, starting out. I have to pee so fucking bad. Oh, I'm peeing. It smells lovely. Today I went 3.26 miles and I did it in 31 minutes and 57 seconds. The climb back up was so hard. I wanted to KMS myself and it was so beautiful. On Airbnb, they have these experiences that I didn't realize you could book. And one of them was to go like to a goat farm and chill with some goats for a little bit. And you can milk them if they're in season. Who knows when goat milking season is, but I'm gonna find out and I'll let you know. He's like my situation ship. We've just never met, but like we FaceTime a lot. Do you guys do that as dogs? This might be beautiful, y'all. I don't know. Answering this like a person at a Trump rally. I'd have to check my sources. Yeah. Here's the update for you I was gonna come back. I was gonna pack up my stuff and leave me done gat riz out of here But the Airbnb is available for another night and they offered me 20% off. It's like another $160 for the night. I'm trying to take care of me. Okay, let's just look, look at it like that I should do that for myself. You should do that for yourself in small ways in big ways this is me just justifying, like being kind of irresponsible. But they haven't responded to my request, so. Okay, let's update my Strava. I'm a frequent Strava user lover extraordinaire. Yeah, yeah. This is about to be a record breaking get ready with me and this is so vulnerable. Look at my eyeballs. I gotta be out of here in like 20 minutes. I gotta be honest, I kind of thought the host was gonna message me back. But I never heard from her, so. I'm gonna go hang out with some goats. More like goats are gonna be hanging out with me. The goat. <laughs> I'm 15 minutes late getting out of here. I'll see ya. The Airbnb host messages me back. They're like, hey, you can actually come stay another night. The second I'm leaving their driveway. So I asked if I could decide in like two hours and let them know because I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna go back. I just love Ohio. Like something about Cincinnati is so magical. I love this let me give you a better view. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm kind of conflicted about this Airbnb situation. I really feel like I want to go back, but like the more I drive away, I'm like, I should just go home. But if I don't stay, I make $160. What do I do? Let's go see some goats, okay? I just got to the goat farm and it was the most beautiful drive. And I'm so excited to hang out with some goats. I have to change because she said the goats would eat my dress. So I'm going back into the same outfit I've worn for five days straight. My parents would be so disappointed in me if they knew I was in some random woman's trailer. This has a red flag written all over it, but it's the sweetest lady who owns this farm. So I'm in good hands. Hey! Hi, Stink. No, no, no. Hey! We can all be friends. If this ain't some unemployed friend on a weekday shit, I don't know what it is. So in an interesting turn of events, this goat farm also serves as an Airbnb and she was like, I'll beat the price of the guy who you're staying with currently if you want to stay here tonight. Of course I want to stay at the goat farm. So I'm staying another night. This guy Hugo reminds me so much of Uzi. Yeah. I will tell you what, it is so beautiful here, it would make John Denver cry. Now that I'm here though, I kind of don't really know what I want to get into. She said there's a hike nearby. Let's see what the weather is. Am I going to get bored? I might get kind of bored. May I just say, my edible just kicked in and <laughs> the birds here sound like cartoon birds. They are like... That was crazy. The plans changed again since we last spoke. That hike sucked. I'm going to go back to Ojai and do a different one that I really wanted to do before I left. Okay, so you can basically only go on this trail if you're a loser. <laughs> I think I'm gonna run this one. I already ran today, so this feels kind of excessive. When in Rome, right? This sweatshirt has nine layers of filth on it, but you better bet I'm gonna be wearing it to bed tonight. <laughs> like a mile and a half in. I need water so bad. There's like horses that walk back through here, and I need one of them to take me to wherever the that other person took them to drink water. Because when they might not drink it, I will. Okay, you can lead this horse to water, she'll drink. I'm about to go see what's up at this farmer's market. I don't see it, which is concerning. Ah, it was so cute. I wanted to cry. I got a head of broccoli, carton of straws, a ton of these tiny little oranges. This kind of reminds me of those structures you find in like the desert biomes in Minecraft. Like, there's a chest down there. 
Hi guys! Welcome to my RV and B for the night. I kind of wish I went home. Not that this hasn't been great. I think I just knew I was kind of needing to go home because I knew I was gonna get a little sad. Which, okay, before you're like, Lauren, you're gonna be sad again a second night in a row? I know. I don't go into these trips with expectations that I'm gonna be super happy the whole time. Because it's not just that I'm lonely, I don't know a soul. And this is just part of it. When I made the decision to come here, I was accepting that this might happen. Going somewhere obviously doesn't make Oh, still getting used to that. I feel like everyone here is like, you can run away and your problems will still exist. I know that. And yeah, I'm just trying to thug that shit out. So I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna try not to get so anxious about the unknown that's outside of this trailer. And I'm gonna try to forget every horror movie I've ever seen. There are things that go bump in the night. Every time the air turns on, hey, the lights flicker. I don't like that. Good night, love you. I kind of forced myself to sleep. But I was so anxious the whole night and now it's morning and there's so many noises outside my Airbnb. It looks like the cops are here. See, that's what I'm saying. It's so cold and all of my clothes are dirty. I still have this retainer in. There's a dangerous game I like to play called look at the back of my head. Let's see how we did. For how I felt 20 minutes ago and how I still kind of feel, I managed to pull it together. <laughs> Heavy ass back. What a lovely little trip. Even if this place was kind of sus, I would do it again. It was so lovely. I just have to get over the things that go bump in the night. And I'm gonna go to Ojai. I'm gonna get a coffee and hopefully sit long enough to poop before I have to drive back to LA to see my cat, to open my packages. Bye! come back for you, you know? Okay, bye. I'm in the same parking spot as my farmer's market haul yesterday, but here is my coffee haul today. We have an ice macchiato, phenomenal. Then I got something really exciting. I wanted to get this yesterday, but it's the frangipan croissant. I hate when people are like, I'm scared before they eat something delicious. What are you scared of? And then something I've already gotten my little paws into is this cardamom orange muffin. I'm done for y'all, please quit, I'm gonna be bad. If I keep eating that, I'm gonna be bad. I saved you a bite. I saved you a bite. I'm gonna go to a vintage store because I've just hit my second wind. AKA, I had my first sip of coffee. <laughs> the two observations I can make about the people in this town are the old men, fire outfits. The older women, fuck ass bobs. I'm back home, but I didn't show what I got at the vintage shop. I went to Runs Like a Top in Ojai, through there. Runs like a top sounds like somebody I know. Runs like a top sounds like something that somebody should be doing to me. This skirt, I don't know how I'm gonna style it, and I don't know what occasion I would wear it to, but it's so unique and it's so special. I really have been wanting to buy a new sleep shirt, like a new solid shirt that nobody has any idea where it's from or what it means. Perfect. And then the sweetest little sweater that I could totally just even throw over like the outfit I had on earlier. I missed my boy. I have so much to clean up and put away, but thanks for coming with me on my trip. I'll go somewhere crazier next time, how about that? Hey, and how about next time I don't stay in a stranger's Airbnb without double checking the facts first? We got away this time. <laughs> Bye you guys. I can't lie, my dang back hurts so much.